and welcome back to No Holds Barred, which is again a channel where sometimes I talk about relevant stuff, sometimes I talk about makeup, sometimes about other stuff, but today it's about makeup and we are fighting daylight because again this is No Holds Barred, I don't get that much money, it, it's dollar store lights, we're going to work on that. Why? Because this is why I look the way I look. I just got back from an afternoon with one of my really good friends. I had a great time. And uh, we hit Marshalls and Winners. <sighs> all this. Yep. All this. And there's a couple things that I've picked up here and there. But makeup. I've missed you. So, yeah. There was a part of my life where uh, income wasn't as much. I was looking for a part-time job. I'm lucky I found one. I'm very, very happy. I'm not allowed to talk about like where it is and all that kind of whatnot on social media, which is fine. I want to have a private life anyway. Um, but yeah, so I, I did a haul. I did a really big haul. Now, not only is this money from like, you know, my part-time job, but I did have some things for sale like on Facebook while I was waiting for work, things that I don't use anymore, don't reach for some of the rings that I've had for a really long time. Because they don't fit, because I've lost a lot of weight. Um, so yeah, those things were for sale and those things kind of sold, so I had like a lot of extra money. Because uh, everything I got was $130. $130. And where was the Marshall prices? You ready? Let's get into this. Before I dive in, I do have to mention this cute little beauty blender that I found from Danielle's Creations a little while back because June is Pride Month, okay? And, uh, you know, isn't this cute? My friends call it the gay sponge, but whatever. It's cute. And, um, Michael Kors has, uh, given us a new watch face yesterday for the Pride flag, so that's pretty awesome. And that was just my side note of everything. So, let's jump into this. First thing I got out of this. Huge bag. A palette. Can you see that price? Yeah. 16 bucks. Heck yeah, I'm gonna hit that. And, I mean, this is what it looks like on the inside. $16. Now, I've never heard of this brand before. Um, Absolute New York. I don't know who they are. But I did look at it in store. And I feel like I'm okay enough now with makeup to, you know, tell if it's good or not. But I mean, at 16 bucks, I was willing to just try it but they swatch beautifully so this is pretty much this is it it's pretty much every single transition neutral shade you're ever gonna need that that's just what they are completely in there that is it so let's swatch a few of them okay and I need to swatch this arm and and that's not the right hand so this way okay so I'm going to try a few mattes and there are a few shimmers in there. I don't know if you can pick up on them, but they are beautiful and I am fighting like daylight. I'm trying my best. Okay. So this is a matte, this is another matte and this is a matte. So swatched out, these are the colors they come up as like one swipe. These are my fingers. For 16 bucks? You betcha. Let's try a couple of the glimmers. And I do apologize if you can hear outside. The window's open. It's warm in here. For like the first day, it's warm. It was snow when that goes go. Canada. I don't know. So we're going to try this one, this one, and this one. So those are some shimmers. Let's swatch those. Huh. Those are the shimmers. Look at that. One swipe, like these these are my fingers. Look. For sixteen dollars? Icon Pro by Absolute Beauty. Um, yeah, ten points to Gryffindor. And they do have the shade names, they're just on the cover that I, I took off. And now these transition shades are going to go so well with the other beauty that I picked up, which is Violet Voss, Holy Grail. And the berry one. So it's the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Holy Grail. And it's the one that has like the pink berry colors, alright? 
it is thirty dollars at winners. It's thirty at winners. Um, currently, because I checked on the Sephora website, it's still selling at sixty. Don't go buy it at Sephora. Go down to Marshalls and Winners and get it for half price. And uh, it, it did have the sticker, so it's approved. Let's take a look at this one because it's beautiful as well. And those transition shades are just going to be the best, like, to mix with this one. I can get out of the box. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like ruining my boxes. I keep them. Um, I did have, like, a little Snapchat thing where I have, like, the whole shoe boxes full of them. So this is the outside. Ooh, a little bit of hollow. Um, and these are the colors on the inside. So, yeah, take off the little paper for a bit. These colors. I have swashed them a little bit. I'm the person that touched this. I swashed it a little bit for the IG story, which is why I'm doing this video now. Because I just couldn't put this down and, like, just do the video tomorrow. Because, no, this is just so awesome. Look at this. For 30 bucks, I mean... I don't have 60 for a palette in, in my budget, but I mean, 30? But again, this was my treat, you know? I've been really good not buying much, sticking to my budget, and, and this was my treat. So, I mean, do I really need to explain? For those of you who don't know, Violet Foss, it is great quality. And this one is, because I, again, swashed it you. So there are some mattes and some shimmers in there, if you can see them. So let's swatch a few mattes and a few shimmers. So um, this transition color, it's, a, it's called transition, and hashtag, like this nice, it's like a burnt orange, it's really pretty, and um, are you kidding me? Alright, so these are some mattes. They feel so beautiful on my fingers. This is the come up up, like, the middle one, you can't see it much, because that's the whole point, it's just like, you know, the one to color your lid or, or whatnot, but those are great. Now, let's go with a little bit of the darker colors, because they are so beautiful. So, brownie points over here, teddy bear right here, and then wine and dine over in the corner here because those are where the berry color pops. Look. Whoa. That wine and dying color and like this middle one here, the bear one, teddy bear, right? They are gorgeous. Now, let's do a couple of the shimmers before the light goes away. <laughs> And try toffee over here, um, cool beans right here, and glamping right there. Try those. My fingers. You ready? Look. Look at that at the end. Aren't those beautiful? They're gorgeous. I mean, you can't see my face while I'm doing this, but like, you're not supposed to look at my face. You're supposed to look at the colors. Like, look. So, this Violet Voss palette, 20 points to Gryffindor. But do you get what I'm saying now? When you add all of these transitions with these colors, it's endless. It's gorgeous. But these transition works with all the other colors that I already have. Because I'm at the point now where I have enough stuff where I just really buy it if I need it, if I don't have it in my collection, which is... One of the things, you know, that I sold, th I knew that I was getting this because I found it yesterday, put it aside. So the things that I had that were close to berry tones were things that I, I, I sold, you know, on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace and whatnot. So I do want to give out an honorable mention to something that I picked up a couple weeks ago, but my friend picked up the same one today because we're both crazy about Too Faced. If you ever are looking through my stuff. There's more tea face than anything else. Um, it is the White Peach Palette. This is for sale at Winners for 30 bucks. And it takes a while to get used to how to open it for one. 
There you go. Uh, it takes a while to get used to how to use it. There aren't that many transition shades, but now I got a bunch. Um, there's only these two dark shades, but they are beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. And I am really enjoying wearing it now that I've kind of figured out how to, you know, mix the colors to, to get what I want. Um, so this is an honorable mention. I have picked this up at Winners and Marshalls. My son picked one up today. Other honorable mentions. I did an order with Glambot. Um, I did film it, but I didn't put it out there just because, you know, things were happening life-wise and I didn't get out there. Um, so through Glambot, I mean, it's previously loved makeup. Some of it was brand spanking new, like this one. This Super Shock Shadow and Special Delivery was never ever used. I, the only fingerprints you're going to see on this one are mine. Got it brand spanking new. I had never bought anything from ColourPop before, so I, I bought it like on a discount. Now, I'm living for this one. It's a Super Shock Highlighter and Stapped? Strapped, sorry, I can't read it. Strapped. Um, I love this color. It, it comes up like gorgeous. I usually wear it like on like, look at that. Why is it that most drugstore or like affordable brands kill it when it comes to highlight compared to like almost everybody else? I don't know. Just asking the question. Um, I just noticed if I move over here, there's better light. Let's move over here. All right. So those are some honorable mentions that I got through Glambot. Another thing I got in that Glambot order was uh, this Too Faced Love Flush 16 Hour Blush in Justify My Love. Um, I have used a little bit of it. But mostly, like, it was barely used. And then another one that I couldn't believe I got it. This Becca Highlighter. Y'all know how expensive these are at Sephora. I forget that I think it's like 42 I don't know. We'll put the price of it because it's still available right now from Sephora right here. Mm-hmm. How much did I pay for this one? 16 bucks. It was never used. I'm the one that did these marks. Can I show you? I can't even show you how it's never been used. You can't even see the lines. Like, I'm the one who did that. Yeah, when I got it, there was like one finger swipe. Like somebody like swiped, they didn't like it. I, I ain't mad at that. And I did get this awesome like cheek palette. Again, in my Face Sugar Monthly. If you guys want to know more about Face Sugar, link is below or you can always ask. It's kind of like Etsy. It's a monthly thing, but they're new. Their first bag was only in December 2018, so they're pretty new. And you get full-size products. And uh, you can use the link below and my code if you want to. I'll give you a dollar off. And if you don't want to help me get some of that, then just go to the website and sign up if you want to. But it has these these two beautiful cheek palettes. So this one's a little peachy, pinkish. And this one's a little bit more brownish. So I use this one like a contour blush. I call this a contour blush thing because they look really natural. They look really good. The construction of it is, I mean, obviously great because I'm putting things back together again. But look. Magnetic closure. It is like cardboard, but magnetic closure. It's cardboard, but it's very well done. I mean, it has like a leather cover feel. Um, this company is IBY. I mean, they're cruelty free, all that kind of stuff. You want to know who they are? This is them. Super happy with that. I did get into like. The butter bronzer and this is we're gonna get into the other stuff I got today I had to buy another one of these all right Kilo one look it's all broken they're falling I dropped it I dropped it but I bought another one today because it was $7.99 sure I'll buy one at $7.99 I love physicians for me why not now, speaking of Physicians Formula, I did pick up another thing from them. And and the box is all ripped up, okay? So maybe that's why it was only $6.99. But it's just a little highlighter. I love these little stackable highlighters. They are pretty. Like, first of all, 
it feels like the letter, like like the other one, you know, the little leather. And then these, these are just classics. If anybody knows makeup, you know these are classics. So let's watch them before we lose. So I'm gonna go down this side and then down this side. So like that, and we're going to swatch them down there. Look again, drugstore killing it with a highlight. I love highlight. I have two and a half drawers of them over here. Why? Just just because I want to. The glow from the stars. I know. I just love it. Just love it. You can never have too much highlight. What else is in here? Because there's still more stuff in this bag. Um, but now we're getting into like the really goodies. Like this one. First, I'm gonna show you the price, okay? First, I'm gonna show you the price. Three bucks. Three whole doll hairs. Why? I don't know. It's a company called Real Her. I've actually seen them through Instagram more and more. I'm trying to open it. There you go. And um, you know, I haven't seen anything bad about them. But, you know, I needed my own first impression, but for three bucks, I'll get my own first impression at home. And, um, I did swatch a few of them, and I'm, I had to pay more than three bucks. So, again, very well made. Cardboard, but, you know, magnetic closing. Nice big mirror. There was a cover on it. I took it off. These are the colors. They're, they're a little bit more muted than the other Violet Falls ones, but they're still there. Um, there's... One shimmer, and then there's a few mattes, but the mattes kind of have a little bit of sparkles to them, but that's okay. So we're going to swatch this one here, Stunning, and then Alluring Below, and this purple one, Divine, and then we're going to go to this shimmer, Impeccable. All right, so that's not how bad for a $3 palette, okay? I don't know what it was full price, but this is the shimmer. You can see a little bit of the shimmer, but... They don't seem to be that patchy. I mean, for three bucks, heck yeah. I would have paid six for this. Would I have paid more than six? Mm, I don't know. But I'm glad I got it at three. That's all I gotta say. The rest in here are just like really quick goodies, like this OPI bonding and stuff. So I do do my own poly gel nails. Again, I'm waiting for the funds to be in a bank account so I can like replenish my stock. Um, I usually buy things off like AliExpress and whatnot. They work perfectly fine for what I want to do. Like, I'm not a professional, so. but this is actually a pretty good brand, and I do need like more bonding, whatever. So instead of waiting four months, it was still six ninety nine anyway. So same price, and uh, it's the professional sort of stuff. Comes in this bottle. Comes in this bottle. So yeah, that was just there. So I was super happy about that. So I picked that up. Next thing I picked up for the eyes is this. Liquid Moon Dust from Urban Decay. This was also $3. It was $3, I do believe, simply because it didn't have a box. But I checked it, and it did not look like anybody had ever opened it before. I swatched it earlier, but there was nothing, like, around there, so I don't think it was used. And, man, this is gorgeous. I can't wait to play around with it, which is why I am doing this video in the half dark. Look, that's the color it comes up. Whoa, that's amazing. It's like really, really shiny, but it's a really pretty gold. Can you see the gold? I I put it over on this side. There you go. Natural light. Here's the LED lights from the Dollarama. And you can just see it sparkle. For three bucks, I mean, I've been looking at them, but they're usually priced at like $12.99, and that's not something that's in my budget. Something that I've been looking for for a long time, though, no. is <clears throat> this. Too Faced Unicorn Tears. Remember I told you I got a lot of Too Faced? Okay. Jesse and I, we just love it. Um, it was $6.99. I do have the Mermaid Tears here. Um, and apparently there was something called Angel Tears for selling me up there. I don't know. I want the whole collection. Okay. So I do have it out and it, it just looks like this, you know. But when you put it on, it does have like a beautiful duochrome. See that? It's supposed to be a topper, but I like to wear them just on their own. I talk about theirs because I also have the mermaid tears. And the mermaid tears is more of a green slash purple color. <clears throat> so the top one. So that's mermaid tears and this is unicorn tears. So am I buying them because they're limited edition and a fad? Sort of, kind of, yeah. 
but I also really love them on their own. Did I buy the Melted Liquid Latex Unicorn Tears simply because it's different and collectible? Yeah. But then I realized that I also like it on its own if I don't go crazy with it, you know. Just like one little swipe. So I will show you that. So there is the liquid latex of the Unicorn Tears. And there's the... Like... They really stay true to the color. They they really mesh. They're really like each other's same. I'm actually impressed. I've never swatched them side by side before because I just finally got the unicorn tears in this one. So, okay. Now I have the mermaid and the unicorn tears to go to my collection. What else is in here? Some more toothpaste. And um, they have a lot of these metallic sparkle lipsticks but again i need to start buying things and lipsticks because i have a bunch of them that i can like wear to work right um i still get to to do my makeup and be myself however like with my makeup and all that whatnot but i gotta look presentable because you know i'm in sales but i didn't want like those those bright bright pinks i can't pull off those bright bright pinks but this one is a beautiful brown with um some glitter in it it is a special edition it has like that thing I think it's part of like their anniversary set or whatnot but this is what it comes out as so these are like the mermaid tears but this is this one it's a beautiful brown with I mean this is a color that I can wear every single day to work and speaking of a color that I can wear every single day to work the other one I picked up is let me see if I can find it in here um, a Kat Von D color in something that I can't read. Hawkwind. Oh, I can't read it. Hawkwind. It's just a beautiful brown. I love the Kat Von D formula. Shish, I don't want to hear nothing about anybody's beef with nothing, okay? I'm not in that stuff. So I'm just going to swatch it on top. And look at this. Like, it's a beautiful dark brown. You'd figure that, like, that other Too Faced one would be really... No, they're very, very different, even though when you look at them, like, from the tubes, they kind of really look similar, but they, they aren't. They, I mean, in my eyes, but I'm also, like, half blind. Uh, but these are two colors that I can wear every single day when I go to work, so they're not wasted at this point. Um, I've been playing around with makeup and I and I bought the crazy colors and I, I have the fun with that and, and I don't want to like you know waste my money anymore so buy stuff that I can use the last thing I found was this Becca poreless primer for $12.99 not kidding $12.99 Evermatte poreless priming perfector base perfectress Pod and Zib Ever Matte. Oh, it's also French and English. Oh, look at that. Good thing I can read French and English. Even if it was Spanish, I could probably say it anyway. Um, but the point. So, I mean, it's not like a huge bottle, but this is a great size. I mean, I usually only use like the poreless ones on where I have pores. And then I use my favorite NYX. Because this is just like a Smashbox. For some reason, Smashbox breaks me out. But I use the poreless on the poor part of my face and then I just use the cheapo NYX which I do get at $6.99 by the way from Winners and Marshalls as well so why would I go pay $16 at the store and it's sex I don't know so who says you need to put the same kind of primer over your entire face just use this you know small spots the rest whatever but I'm super happy that I got this one at $12.99 and I think that's it I think that's it let's check Yep. Bag's empty. All of that was what I got. But I had even more fun because my friend picked up some stuff for herself. As well as honorable mention goes out to Marshalls Canada again for um, their apology because something had happened um, of a negative customer experience to my friend a few weeks ago in their store. To the point that she did say that they discussed with the entire staff of what that happened that day. I'm not really going to get into it. But it uh, just goes down to um, 
a lack of respect, we're going to put it that way. Um, but once the, they were made aware that, you know, it felt disrespectful and, and all that whatnot, they immediately said, you know, that's not right. We're going to take care of that. They talked to my friends like, this is never going to happen to you or anybody else in this store ever again. And I want to thank them for that integrity. It takes a lot for someone to uh, apologize for something they didn't even do because the manager wasn't even there that day. Um, so again, Marshalls Canada, thanks. Uh, winners, Marshalls, you guys are all the same company though, but the apology and the incident happened at Marshalls. So we're just gonna go with, thank you very much to Marshalls. But uh, all of this, I mean, I can't wait to start playing with it. Um, and if anybody's wondering what is on my eyes today, not much. Uh, I do have my prescription for Restasis, which I just started. I'm so super thankful and super grateful that the province of New Brunswick is covering that for me because I do have Sjogren's syndrome. Um, if anybody noticed ever before or if you haven't, um, I now have permanent scars and, and under my lip because I did get a saliva limb biopsy. So I had like four stitches on the inside of my mouth. So that is going to change the way that I talk for a little bit, um, you know, but it's okay. It's all in good. They are now taking care of me. You know, it does have an effect on my kidneys. My kidneys are, are already pooping out. They're 57%, we think. It might be worse. They're going to get better. But that's something with a healthy lifestyle and whatnot that it can be managed. So we're not going to complain too much, but it does affect my eyes a lot. Since the specialists have very much recommended and they understand how much is going to help me, they decided to cover it. It's over $250 a month and the province is covering it. So I'm so thankful and grateful that they are doing that so that I can have, you know, at least the quality of life that I can at least have. I mean, I'm 36. I'm, I'm not ready to lie down anytime soon. So that does mean that hopefully in about a few months, I'll be able to wear contacts again. Because right now I'm legally blind in my right eye, um, even with glasses. But when I take my glasses off, I see absolutely nothing. So for me to do eye makeup with no glasses, it's it's um, quite the task. Anyway, but all I'm wearing today is just the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold Palette. I love this palette for really quick eye looks. It's great. That's all I have on my eyes with a little bit of a the Balm um, nude one that I got as Ipsy when I was still with Ipsy back in the day called Brave. So this color, the corner, that's all I got on. And, and some mascara, which is, you know, Too Faced, of course, better than Sex Mascara. I haven't gotten around to get the new one because I don't have it kind of cash but we'll get on this one day so yeah i hope you enjoyed this um if you did let me know if you want more of this stuff let me know because now again i have a part-time job so there might be a little bit of extra funds to buy some more stuff so if there's anything that you like you just just let me know if you want to go ahead and subscribe you can but sometimes it's not all about makeup sometimes i'm talking about relevant things and sometimes i'm going to talk about like mental health stuff because we need to have more information about mental health um, there's a stigma attached to it and there shouldn't be one. There, there's nothing wrong with having a bad day and, and everybody has anxiety. Everybody has bad days and we need to stop labeling everything. I mean, I live with a mental health issue. Um, I'm, I've gotten a lot of help for it. And then I see a lot of people out there that are struggling and some people think they're the only one that go through that and you're not the only one. So sometimes I do talk about that. Um, subscribe would be kind of cool. Um, but it's up to you. And if, 
those certain ones you aren't your thing, then then just don't watch it. If you're just here for the makeup, then hi, come back and there's gonna be more. I'm not done buying. I mean, winners and Marshalls always have cool deals. I don't buy anything full price, so. Not necessarily just because I'm cheap, just because I know that I can get this for half price. Because it's literally $60 right now, Canadian, on Sephora. And I paid 30 bucks. Like, why, why, why? Even if you have a lot of money, why would you pay double when you can get it for half? That's all I gotta say about that. And again, if you're ever interested about anything with face sugar, ask questions. The link is below if you want to sign up. You get full products like this lip kit. We did get a full size of like liquid highlighter. And again, you just saw me talk about the blush palette that we got last month. So I'm happy with all that. If you guys got any questions, comments, leave them below. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you don't, no, it's all right. I'm just here for fun anyway. Um, and I, I hope the lighting isn't that that off. I'm still learning how to do the light right. But I also want to hurry because I want to play with this. And I, I don't want to wait till tomorrow in order to do a whole face of stuff. Because it just looks so inviting. And I'm going to have some fun. And I'm going to have some fun. So, thanks everyone. And I hope that you guys have a really good rest of the week.